Hello everyone, Zin here, and this is more Simpsons Skateboarding. This time a construction site, and this time, roof of these loading screens. See? Loading screens are gone. I'm editing out all of them because now they start repeating and it's pointless to even keep them here. Now it's time for combos. Notice this is already shoot we've already done. We are now literally just doing combos. Oh, don't be jelly. You'll get which is right now really easy, you know. Just simple jumps and grind. Yeah, they're mainly so, on the skateboard on the skateboard. Yeah, no problem here. Gain past all this shit. Easy as piss. And then we get to this one. Now we have to flip to a grind. Now they want us to really, really try. Now this one's actually a bit tough because you can't really do a 360 on these ones. Luckily, you stop doing this. Oh look, Homer's trying to like get up but he can't. Now it changes. Now it's Ollie to nose grind to Ollie to crooked slide Let's to Ollie. Uh, just kidding, it's just Ollie to nose grind to Ollie to crooked slide. And then there's another one which is just Ollie grind, Ollie grind. Yeah, right now this is actually not that hard. But I'm trying to do these on these small rails. And I can't Let remember me. how to cook a grind. Here you go. All I'm doing is boards, and I don't know why. I should be doing crooked. Oh, I did crooked slide, but not a, I did crooked, I did crooked grind, but not crooked slide. Not bad for a non I am so out of it right now. <laughs> now it's time for all it to late oh, shove it to then. nose manual. Not again. I need some hey, air. More than the and I also need to make sure I get an ollie before I do the shove it. And then I have to make sure I do a nose manual, not any kind of manual. They will not allow me to do whatever manual I want to do. Alright, now, next, challenge 5. Any grab, late kick, flip 360. So now, in this new area, we have to do a grab, a kickflip, and then in the middle of it, spinning. We have to do it twice. But now, we need to do a 540 with a method and a late shove it. Gain 550 normally is easy. Later spins get pretty fucking difficult though. But this is actually not that bad. This is actually pretty easy. Now it's time for the last one, which is also a combo. We don't have any kind of like, like real challenge thing. It's just combo shit with a time. That's basically it. This one, tail grab, leg kick flip, back flip. You only have to do this once, not twice. This one isn't that easy because we have to nail the back flip as well as the other shit. Now we have to nail the front flip as well as the nose grab and late kick flip. Luckily the nose grab will make the front flip pretty fast, but then we have to nail the kick flip. Don't ask how I, an I landed that, I don't even know. I landed on my head yet. I, I don't even know. Yeah, you you want to stay on this little back and forth ramp here because the other two sides, they do not help. I mean, this side helps. But then you got that side to deal with, and there is no up ramp on that side. So you have no way of actually gaining any air for this. And you need a lot of air to nail this. 
Now it's time for an easy one. Indie grab, late shove it 360. Not the shove it 360 trip. Flip. Fuck. Not the shove it 360 trick, but a late shove it with a 360 spin. Nailed it. Now we're done with skill school. It's now time for skate fests. But first, gotta upgrade our stats. It'll most likely be at 80. Yep, and 81. 81. Then 82. Tanks a lot, monorail, coffee grinds, clocks, and items. So, yeah, there's going to be tanks in a construction site. There's going to be grinding on coffee, apparently. The skate being monorail. And, of course, we got to beat all the clocks. And we got to get all the items to get on board. This is actually going to be easy. I don't know what kind of construction site this is, where it is, but let's not worry about that. Let's worry about Kent Brockman giving us the report. Kent Brockman here. The next phase of our contest takes place at a construction site. Don't ask me why, but I guess it seems like a good idea to someone. In any case, riders will have to avoid a host of hazards from heavy machinery to underpaid, dangerously moronic construction workers. Our skaters are ready, so let's check out the competition. Funny how the game actually makes fun of the fact that we're actually doing this next, like, bunch of shit in a construction site. Like, they couldn't think of any other good ideas. They chose a construction site. Anyway, the coffee machines gives us a secret area, and the other one, the tanks, gives us our next level. And the rest, you already get the idea of the rest. You know, skate, items clocks All right let's do it so we start off with our missing the set start good good start good start restart please thank you okay let's not set a start but instead stop from where we begin because we're doing the monorail and we really need to start where the M is because it's really hard to actually get the M and the O otherwise. Now the time here is actually pretty strict. We have to haul ass on the monorail. There's the eye, but we have to go the other way. That squeaking's back. But this is not the strictest time of these challenges. No, no, no. There is one far worse than this. But we are now monorail tastic. Why do they have to put tastic on everything? Anyway, here's the first clock, the 32nd clock, which will be about 5,000 points. I need to land my jump correctly for this one. And there we go. 4,000 points. Alright. So, just grind. And nailed it. Like I said, the grinding thing is the best way you can get points. Like, fucking jumps, flips, grabs, manuals, all that shit. Fucking useless when you got grinds that always restart that little meter and give you a shit ton of points as well as a 60 combo double point thing in seconds now it's time for 8,000 points why am I getting points because sadly they do not count until the time starts just wanted to show that off pretty sure I showed it off before though I don't remember Okay, so there's not many good places for grinds except this place, so gotta really nail it here and not waste my time on the corners. Good thing that ramp was there. Only one clock left. And that will be the hardest one, the 92nd one. Um that would be this one. Over to our right then. And I fell. Is there a donut here? I'm pretty sure there is. Yes, there is. 
There's our first donut, and I, I am so bad about myself. I am too, because that was horrible. Okay. Sweet. Oh, it's number two. All right. Well, let's begin getting these donuts. There's the clock. If this one, there is a really good spot for grinds, but we're not doing the clock just Damn, yet. Great. We're just getting donuts. Getting donuts and doing other shit. Now we're going for the clock, though. And the clock is actually pretty easy. If you know where to go, or, you know, right over the place and all that shit. Just have to hit it. Because it's in the middle of... Oh, there we go. 20,000 points. Alright. So, where do we have to go to get our points? Well, just have to keep going this way. Keep going this way. Oh my ass! We're almost there, don't worry. Just have to move over here and just go down over to here. We only have 70 seconds left. But we'll grind over here, then grind Hello. here. And here is the best spot to do our shit. Oh, yeah. Not the outer ring, but the inner ring. If you can get in the inner ring and such, so just start grinding then. I mean, it gets extremely easy once you're in that middle ring because. All you have to do is grind. But I like to try and mix things up right now and make it interesting or else, you know, people will get bored and I'll have to skip this. He knows Kane. He knows Kane. How much do you know about Kane, sir? Anyway. Here's where I nail it in three, two, one, nailed. I told the clocks. Now, what we have left is coffee grind, tanks a lot, and these items, which I believe there's a donut right here. Just have to jump. That's the first one. Okay, at least only two easy ones left, and let's see where we can find those. Uh, well, here's the takes. I can just see them over there. Make it look easy. Oh, hey, Patty and Selma. Oh my God, I can remember Patty and Selma. Shut up. Okay, here's the tanks. All we gotta do is grind the barrels of any grind trick and activate the tanks. I fucked it up the first time. First of all, you need to get low air. You need to grind the first barrel. Then you need to make a specific jump, which is, by the way, a big jump, onto the next barrel, and you got it. But I said, fuck it, I'm getting this donut. We now have to get medium items, but not right now. I feel so bad about myself. And I'm gonna try again. All I have to do is grind the first barrel, jump high enough to get the next barrel, and grind it. And that's it. That tanks a lot. Really, really easy challenge here, because all you need to do is this. And then, bang. Great animation. We now have the golf court. The, the fucking golf place. Mini golf. It's a big name. We'll call it Sir Putts a lot. I'm not going to call it Mini Golf Course or whatever the fuck the full name is. We're calling it Sir Putts a lot. I think we can agree that was terrible. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, coffee grinds, right down there. Also, there's the pizza, right over there. So... Alright, now, we have to nail this jump. There we go, that's number two. Fuck off, Patty or Selma. 
I don't know which one it is, but your voices are very similar. Okay, pizza's up there. That's going to require us to do some climbing. Let's not Daddy climb you. yet, and instead do coffee grinds, which starts over down there. I'm just spinning around. And yep, back, go back, there's where it starts. Yes, past me. Good past me. Now grind it. Alright. Let's find the last four. And by the way, this is the strictest. Oh this is actually the hardest of all the challenges. Because you get fuck all the time to do this, and you need to do it perfectly, or else you'll run out of time, and you'll have to do all this shit again. You see, I am now almost fucking myself here, because I only have five seconds left, and if I missed that, that was it. I had to restart the whole thing, but I didn't. And now the secret area is unlocked, and now we have to find the pizza, and that's it. We've done all the clocks. We've gone in the monorail. We've done the other two things. Now it's all down to game pizzas and duff beer and then the board. And then it's on to the contest and being the whole thing. But first, it's now time for the hardest one of the hardest and most annoying medium items in the game. Okay. So, it's up this building, and the only way to get up here is to do a shitload of grinds. The problem with this is that you need to do it all at once. And a grind. And you need to know where the grinds are and all. Now, the good news is they give you a set start here, so if you do fuck up, you don't have to go back and set yourself up again to do it again. You just press restart, and that's it. You know what you do have to do, though? You have to align yourself correctly so that the grind actually works, because it didn't before then. And then you have to make sure you know the course, because this fucking place tricks you. Like that. You have to be pretty much perfect on your grinds to get this one, because if you're not, you're going to miss, you're going to fail, and you're going to get fucked. Instead of grinding here, though, I decided to just land on the vent, and there it is. Now, this is not the hardest of the items, but it is a good taste to let you feel, absolutely feel what it will be like to get later items in this game because the items get a lot more worse later on. Right now though, that is the hardest. This one is second hardest. All we have to do is climb. Actually, who am I kidding? This is not the second hardest. This is one of the hardest, but it's about the third hardest, because look at that, we've already got it. Now we have the Duff Beer, aka the Hard. And we have to start here, because the first Duff Beer is pretty close to where we are right now. It's right there. We have to do another grind session, but this one isn't that bad. All we have to do is move over here, grind that rail, and then take it all the way up to the roof and then just grind. Make sure we land it and that's it. Now the next one. This one is the second hardest. You just have to get up here onto the monorail rails and grind it all the way to where we need to be. To get there we have to go up here up this way past these bumps speed bumps then we have this ramp here but not that ramp we have to start from here and we have to take that grind there now 
first off, nail on the grind is going to be hard. But next up is taking this monorail grind without bailing or gain off it all the way to the duff beer. This is tough because you got to nail every single grind or else you're fucked up and have to go back up or you restart from the set start. And I hope you are using set starts. If you are not, you're a fucking idiot. Now, you have to pretty much get on that side and jump it. And once you got it, all we have left is the board. And of course, it's in the secret area, like always. So, where is it? Where is the sewer? Let's face it, that entrance was indeed a sewer to it. Well, there it is. We have to take that small ramp all the way up. Where it leads is where we did that one skill school. And the board is in a corner of one of these four corners. Right up there. We need some speed and we need some jump. Oh and we cannot get it from bailing because apparently that's cheating. Easier said than done because you need to make sure not to fuck up. Oh it's in a corner and you Very got to pretty much straight yourself out of this one. You have to hit it accurately. You no. have to not fuck up the jumps, which for some reason the game is pretty much fucking up the jumps for me for no reason. And you have to be high enough to get it. Like that. And that's it. We're now done with free skate. So, Don't. now. Now it's time to upgrade our ship and begin the final thing, the contest. And sadly, this loading screen is different, so I'm not cutting it out. Every loading screen of the contest is different, as well as the loading screen for the free skates. Or well, skate fests or whatever. See, it's Lisa now, who we are never going to play as, but she looks kind of ugly. Anyway, 80,000 points. This one's easy. You might not think it because there's no ovals or anything, but it is. Because you need to remember one special thing. Well, two special things, actually. One, doing 5 O's always slows you down. And if you stay grinding instead of doing the jump up grind, you'll go backwards. And if you jump at a wall, you'll bump off it and go the other way. Pretty much this is my makeshift oval. My makeshift circle. And all I gotta do is keep doing this over and over and over again until I beat the fucking points. And yes, I do get a million points. Now there is something with this one. If you're doing the jump grind thing too fast, it won't count. So you do need to, you know, get yourself at the right speed. But once you got it, you beat it. And that's it. Easy. Honestly, I, I'm surprised that the game would actually not think to making the bar, like, actually move while you're doing that shit. I mean, the skate games did it, so... Oh, and the Tony Hawk games, let's not forget that. So why is it that this doesn't? Even Thrasher, which was made before Tony Hawk did that shit correctly. But there you go. I got a hundred thousand. Not a million, a hundred thousand. I, I never get a million. It's way too hard to get a million, sadly. Right. So that's it for that. And next time, after our stat points, which are going to be up to 88. Eight. We begin Sir Puddle Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.